Hi guys, today I thought I'd talk about the Omenix. It's the Omenixo. This is the Lime. It has 4 gigabytes of NAND flash and all winter tech 820 dual core. On the top it's got 160 GPIO pins. Uh, I thought that was pretty remarkable. Um, it's also got GPIO LEDs uh, and then 10 by 100 uh, Ethernet USB 2.0 and then the mini fan connector for battery and then uh, the 2.1 millimeter barrel connector. On the back here of SATA power and SATA connector and HDMI and then the mini USB. On the bottom we have a micro SD card and then three uh, push buttons one for recovery, one for reset, and the other one for power. Yeah, so that's the layout of the board. And then I'm going to show you the cables I'm going to use and how I'm going to install the hard drive. Okay, so these are the, the adapters that I'm going to use. This is just a SATA power to a mini fan connector cable. If you look on the SD Card Association's website, you'll see the differences between U1 and U3. That's something to take in consideration if you've got something A20 and above. Um, the power supply I'm actually using is a uh, 5 volt 3 amp and I'm doing that just because I want the extra clean power and make sure that I can operate the hard drive successfully and it has an onboard LED and I think that adds value so okay just so you can see how I got things connected I've got the mouse and keyboard and then the barrel connector you can see the LED light is on on my power supply Ethernet's connected and then the 5 volt SATA power and then the uh, SATA and then the HDMI so everything's connected I actually have my operating system booted already uh, from the SD card link uh, to the images will be down in the description I'll take you to the screen to show you the rest uh, I want to give props to Igor. Uh, the website will be in the description. Uh, if you like this guy's work, please donate to him. Some of the things that I want to show you that he's been working on. He's got a lot of images created. So he's got the orange pie, he's got the almond X slime, and in the QB board 4, banana pie, QB box, hummingboard, Debian images. So there's some great work that he's done here so I'll just go into the board I'm talking about today and then um, scroll down and there's some Debian Wheezy images right here so uh, he's also provided uh, there's the Wheezy or Jesse or trusty images which are pretty nice so if that's what you're after this these are great projects so uh, I'm, I'm talking about the Lime not the Lime 2 but the Lime today and then he talks about the script that's available and you can actually just download that script if you need to. My suggestion would be to download the script um, and make sure that you've get, given it executable privileges. I've actually already SSH'd into um, the board. That's why I connected the keyboard. So uh, I set the password at first boot. If I clear LS and then the one that was already on the image was NAND SATA install.sh. Uh, I created a second file from the one that I downloaded from his website called NAND SATA install2.sh and I gave it executable privileges and then I'm going to go ahead and run it. So this is uh, ARMS board installer. Now, something that I noticed, and I want to make this clear, is, is that um, right here, something very important, no NAND driver. So something to, uh, to take into account. So uh, I'm actually, that's why I'm installing it on a hard drive today. So I'll just actually not put it on the NAND flash. I'll put it on the SD1. So in doing that, I'll just hit the down key. and then enter warning the script will erase so click OK and then it's going to work uh, this may take some time obviously so I'm just gonna leave it here I may actually just cut the video and then I'll bring you back after it's finished installed 